When taking NMN or other NAD boosters, experts often recommend taking TMG as well. In this short video clip, Dr. David Sinclair shares more about TMG and why he takes it. The reason that I take glycine, actually specifically trimethylglycine, is, is actually to, to counter what I think might be going on with an NAD booster. Now, to raise NAD levels, what we've done in my lab to mice for the last decade is we give them precursors to NAD. So we give them molecules like nicotinamide riboside, or NR, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, also known as NMN, not to be confused with m ms <laughs> which will have the opposite effect. And uh, so NMN is, is what I take each day. I take a, a gram of it. But the thing with nicotinamide mononucleotide NMN is that it, it has this nicotinamide group on it. It hangs off the, the main part of the chemical. And it's the first bond to break. And so we see in animals and even in humans that the levels of nicotinamide go up quite rapidly after taking NMN or NR. And too, too high levels of nicotinamide are not good, um, in part because the nicotinamide gets excreted through the kidneys and it's done so, that happens because it becomes methylated into methyl nicotinamide. Mm -hmm. And methyl nicotinamide has been used for, for years as a marker of all sorts of things, in, including at least experimentally for Parkinson's disease. But the concern that's, that's been talked about uh, in social media especially is, is this drain of methyl nicotinamide a problem? The, the methyl groups are, are needed for the body. We need methyl for a whole range of things, including um, antioxidants. And uh, so as a precaution, I take trimethylglycine so that uh, I continue to give the, my body a source of methyl groups. Now, I don't know if that's true. Uh, people ask me all the time. I take it as a precaution because I know that trimethylglycine is not going to hurt me. Glycine is good, as you mentioned, Joe. Um, and the other thing is trimethylglycine is also known as betaine, uh, which on human cells is very good for them, um, including protecting them against stress. So I don't, I don't see any downside. It's not an expensive molecule. And the upside is that I'm preventing my body from being drained of methyl groups. So I do take it as a precaution, knowing that, that it's probably not doing anything um, except goodness for my body. Dr. Chris Masterjohn also shares some tips on taking TMG. I would take 100 milligrams of TMG for every 200 milligrams of nicotinamide riboside or nicotinamide mononucleotide, which is NMN. أنا شخصيا مترجم هذا الفيديو وصاحب القناة أتناول مكملات مكافحة الشيخوخة أي الأنمان والرسفراترول والميتفورمين والفيتامين كاف إثنان ومكونات TMG منذ شهر مايو لسنة 2020 عندما اكتشفت فيديوهات الدكتور ديفيد سينكلير ونظرا أن الكثير من المشاركين في القناة سألوني عن مكان شراء هذه المكملات قمت بالتواصل مع الشركة التي أشتري منها شخصيا وهي donotage.org وهي شركة معتمدة تم فحص مكوناتها في العديد من المختبرات من حول العالم ولقد أعطوني خصما خاصا بقناتي والخصم هو صحتك ستجد رابط موقع الشركة في صندوق الوصف أراكم في الفيديو المقبل